Hello and welcome back to another episode on Awesome Tube 956. Today we are doing the third part to assembling a pro skateboard. Right now we are going to be looking at what not to do and what to do. So originally I have purchased these quarter inch um quarter inch resin pads which didn't work and um then I had to order some one eighth inch riser pads which is the smaller looking one I want to let you know that the one eighth inch riser pads are rubber they're of a silicone material and they are the right size but the um, placement of the of the screw holes um, were kind of tight they weren't really um, you know the exact measurements but with this material it, it is able to stretch out at this point I'm just showing you what happens when you tighten down your hardware onto your skateboard when things get tight and you break in your board it leaves this uh, imprint or um, yeah it's just like things just start to uh, fit better when you uh, break it in like that so we're installing the riser pads and as you can tell, like I was saying, the holes are not really measured out right. Could be just how they were made, but it's okay. We we're able to, to make it fit. We are putting the trucks on. And then after the trucks, we'll be installing the nuts. Then we'll tighten it down. There's not much to this um, review or not review but um how to video uh, people may ask why do you spend the extra money on riser pads um, simply because that it prevents or it helps prevent um, well bite if you ride your if you ride your trucks very loose then of course you're always gonna have well bite but I like to ride my trucks in the medium to tight area um, and having I noticed that having riser pads uh, helps out with that with uh, less wheel bite so we are taking the other side off I want to I want to point out at this point that uh, some hardware comes with different color um, hardware in in my case two of the screws were um, silver and the rest were black and what I did was I put it towards the nose and that I know that with this pattern I know that it's the nose another way that I can tell it's the nose is that part that doesn't have the grip tape on it where it says girl that is another way that I can tell that it's a um, that it that my feet are positioned normally and the nose is in front of me right now we're going to be installing the the second riser pads and you can tell you can see that I'm while I'm doing that I'm making sure there's pressure on the screws so that it doesn't get pushed back out and we are installing the trucks onto the pads and then the nut onto the trucks and you're going to see that when we tighten down the trucks to the riser pad or to the board the riser pad is going to flex and smash and 
only because of the material that it's made out of. So, typically, you would use the screw to just hold it in place and the T to torque down and turn the nut. What you want to do is you want to make sure that with this specific setup, um, that just just a little bit of the the screw is sticking above or protruding above the uh, the nut when you tighten it down. You don't want it too tight. You don't want it too loose. The right amount would be where um, you can see the tip of the screw and maybe the screw is a little bit above the um, or protruding a little bit above the top of the nut. And right here I'm showing you what happens when you put the when you put some pressure on these pads, it sticks up like a sore thumb. So we're, we're just going to go ahead and get rid of these pads. Just kidding. And at this point, we're going to go ahead and do something with these stickers. Cool thing about getting parts for a skateboard is that they give you all these random awesome stickers. I like to put them on useful things like this notepad because I'm going to be the only guy with the cool notepad in the office or in the shop wherever so my friends I would like to invite you to subscribe like and comments any questions any thoughts any recommendations or even anything you don't like about it Go ahead and leave it down in the comments and we will see you on the next one. The next one will probably be the one about maintaining your bearings, how to make your bearings last longer. And um, we would love to show you how we do it on AwesomeTube956. We'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.